How's it going on, people? So today I'm going to talk about how to prepare for the AZ400, or AZ400, however you want to pronounce that, right? And um, I'll just show you some of the materials that I've used so that you're prepared for the exam. You will pass the exam because, you know, this is the same method that I've used. I'll probably throw in a little bit of Linux Academy in there and talk a little bit more about that. But in terms of passing the exam, is, is, you know, let's talk about the exam itself. It's when I did it, I think it was like 50 questions. And it, it not only asked me things about Azure DevOps, but it asked me things about Kubernetes, um, how to actually uh, secure your code, source control, Git. Um, it asked about YAML, uh, um, pipelines code. And, you know, you needed to know a variety of topics. It was just not one thing. It was, you know, a topic of many. So that's what, what we have to consider. But having the right mindset going into this, this exam is, is ideal because if you go in there thinking that it's only just about Azure DevOps pipeline and things that you do on a daily basis, it's not, it involves a lot more. So, you know, just have that perspective really. The I would say for doing this exam, it's probably going to take you two to three months. And the best way that I found to prepare for it is to dedicate two hours a day, seven days in a row, if possible, trying to actually get your study material in to pass this. Now, two hours a day, it, you know, it, that's good progress. But there's a lot of things you need to do. You need to be able to have, do your labs. You know, that takes a considerable amount of time. There are a lot of labs in this. And, you know, how do you say? You just got to be able to get in. If you can see this, it says here that the content of the exam was updated on the 23rd of March, quite recent. And there is a syllabus that you can actually look about so you can see what has and what hasn't changed. Um, Here's your skills measured down along the, the outline. Here's the outline of everything. And this thing is 11 pages long. Now, although it talks to you about the, you know, the updates and stuff, it's not saying that the updates, it's the original material and the updates, it's everything together. You know, everything here together is basically what you need to be able to talk about. And <clears throat> oh, okay, it says here the exam the exam guide shows what's changed. What's up this way? Is this your original audience profile? Uh, audience profile. Okay, so that's that's a good thing then. So it's like okay, let's talk about one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Okay, six pages. Still a lot of pages though. Still a lot of content. You know, this is, this is not, <laughs> this is not a mouthful. This is drinking by the fire hydrant. So it even has here integrate GitHub with DevOps pipeline, design GitHub, design for GitOps. Wow, look at that, design for chat ops. That's all new. And you'll get it all here. So give that a go, you know, this would be good. Here's the online free material I was talking about. So. Let's recap. So dedicate two hours to this. Have a really good perspective that it's not only just about Zero DevOps that you'd be learning. It's many other things like, as we just saw there, Git, uh, Git, Git Ops. And you need, you need to know about Kubernetes. I saw a Wasp there as well. So all sorts of different tools that you need to know. Two hours a day for seven days in a row for about two to three months, if possible. The MS course material. Okay, so all this used to be 100% for me, and now that's all changed. <laughs> you know, there's a lot more updates or updating that I need to do. But what I can tell you is that using this online free material, you do fall in line with what the syllabus actually has or says. And these have labs on them, hands-on labs, so that for you to actually go in here, pull things apart, you know, follow the syllabus, what have you, after you do the lab, but after you do the lab, you can pull things apart, I do, just to see what works, what doesn't work. At the end of the day, when you actually 
close everything down, it wipes it all clean. So it's all okay. It doesn't cost you a thing either, which is good. So yeah, try that. Now with the Wiz Labs, if you combine Wiz Labs training material, or should I say Wiz Labs tests or pre-tests or practice test questions with the online free material from here is a good combo because you're actually recapping with Wiz Labs what it is you've probably read. Now, if you haven't read some, and then what will happen is that if you find yourself that you're doing the practice test, but you're not actually knowing what the practice test is asking you because it's on a topic that you haven't covered yet, you know to expect that. And that's material that you just re retrain on or relearn or you add on, you know? So that's, that's a really cool thing to do. So I highly recommend Wiz Labs practice tests. Let's try a free one here. And then I just resume here, I'll start. And I don't know. You can read this in your time, just press pause, read, guess a question, guess the answer, A, B, C, or D. But the good thing about Wiz Labs is, is that it does tell you what you've done right, or should I say, why the answer is either right or wrong. And it shows you an, uh, an official Microsoft URL to actually say, okay, this is the reason why you will select that, that answer to that question. So, you know, good source of training material, highly recommend Wiz Labs. It's not a brain dump. It's not somewhere where you actually go to remember answers to the questions to then pass the exam, because at the end of the day, it doesn't give you justice. If you do that, it, there's no point in doing a qualification just for getting the paper. It's just a paper qualification at the end of the day. You want to make sure that you actually go there to learn, to then show yourself and show your employers that you're worth, you know, the, the payment of, of what, they, what they're giving you. But other than that, yeah, it's fine. So let me just cancel that. The other material that I want to basically say here is Linux Academy. Linux Academy is really good. What I find so strange is that they're not strange, but it's just a, how do you say, it? it's just an observation. Here it says that it's advanced, but if I go to the training material, it says beginner DevOps engineer, Zer, maybe. That's just Microsoft's way of encouraging people to to hop on the bandwagon with with the training material. Not a bad thing. Gives you a little bit of confidence, a placebo pill. But never mind. With with Linux Academy, you know, I've heard really good things about them. I personally haven't used them to pass any of my training, but I do know people who've actually used uh, Linux Academy for their training. Say nothing but good things about them. And they do have some, okay, so they have practice tests. I don't see any labs here. Maybe, no, these are all videos. Supporting courses, six, one hour, this, two hours and 48 minutes. So this is just gonna prepare you for the ASF 400. I don't think they have anything in terms of doing doing the course. Maybe these are other topics that it helps you with. Implement, dependency management, continuous delivery, continuous integration in Azure, implementing the Azure DevOps process. Okay, so there's there's way more provision resources, so ARM templates. You need to know ARM templates for ASF 400. Fell off, shadow go. Creating new get package to feed artifacts, you need to know new get. Okay, so. <laughs> Oh yeah, and you need to know, you definitely need to know the boards because that's all, okay, so wow, there's a lot more training material. One, I don't know, let's call it 30, 40. There's a ton of stuff to study, guys. You know, it's not a small topic, but pays the bills, pays the bills if you know this stuff. The other thing that I would suggest as well, just to wrap things up, is to sign up for your Azure DevOps. It's free, you know? If you don't work with this at, at, at work or you're curious or anything of the sort, you know, sign into Azure DevOps 
uh, create yourself a free account and just muck around with the boards, the pipelines, what have you. Okay, I appreciate it. You won't be able to feed anything to a pipeline, but point being is you get to poke around and see what's going on. So I really hope that's going to help you prepare for the ASF 400. These are things that you need to be able to consider. It's not a small topic by any means, but it's not going to kill you. So, you know, happy studying. Take care and thank you.